Hi guys, so I thought today I would do a what I eat in a day video. So I am now four months post gastric bypass. It is the 5th of June. So I have so far lost 58 pounds since the beginning of February. Um, so I've just woken up, it is about 8 o'clock in the morning and the first thing I do when I wake up each morning is I have oh, oh dear. <laughs> bloopers ok so the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I take my vitamin B12 spray um, normally we would have a B12 injection every three months but because of the COVID-19 lockdown the doctor's surgeries aren't doing those sort of face-to-face -face appointments at the moment so my surgeon at the hospital recommended to get a sublingual spray like this um, you can get B12 tablets but once you've had either sleeve or bypass you can't absorb b12 through your digestive system anymore so having the spray you spray it kind of in the inside of your cheek and you absorb it through the mucous membranes in your mouth so it is easier to absorb than the tablets so i got this one from ebay and it's a um, it's a twelve hundred UG spray. Um, my surgeon said to get one that was at least a thousand UGs. So so yeah. So I spray that in the inside of my mouth. I'll show you. I give it a shake. I do three sprays. And that's that. Okay. So, first thing in the morning I do that. And then, before I go to bed each night, I make myself a flask of coffee. <laughs> and then I drink my flask of coffee before I really do anything else. So, I find by doing that, it means that I can get some more liquid in. Um, I can do that and then I get up, get dressed, clear my teeth. Um, and by the time I've done all that, enough time's passed that when I go downstairs, I can then eat my breakfast. So I will enjoy my coffee and then I will see you a bit later for breakfast okay so it is now breakfast time and I'm going to show you what I normally have for breakfast and then I will say a few of the other things that I sometimes have for breakfast so let's just adjust the camera a little bit so you can see um, better isn't it okay so here I have got some extra protein yogurt this one's the natural yogurt um, they also do it in several other flavors as well but if you buy the natural flavor yogurt I'm gonna show you I'm gonna put few spoonfuls of that in there. Do I need to bring the camera a bit closer? Hang on a second. There we go. Is that a little bit better? I feel like what you're seeing is blurry. I'm sorry. Maybe like that. Okay, so a, sp a few spoonfuls of yogurt in my bowl 
and then I'm going to use some flavouring in there and today I think I'm going to use the toffee flavour. So I've also done a video with a review for these flavour drops. So this is the toffee one that I'm going to use today. But you can check out the video where I explain about the different flavours. Just put probably about three, maybe four drops of that into there. And then give it a good stir. So now, before I do anything else, I'm going to use my yoghurt to take my daily multivitamin because it's quite a big tablet and I find it easiest to swallow it with a spoonful of yoghurt. So this is just the Holland and Barra ABC multivitamin and I only need to take one of these a day. Too many. So I chose this multivitamin particularly because it's one a day. A lot of the other multivitamins are one twice a day. So I just put, can you see? Just put the vitamin into the spoonful and just swallow it. And that's nice toffee flavoured yoghurt now. And so the last thing I do when I'm making my yoghurt for breakfast is I like to mix in some sunflower seeds, which give it a really nice kind of nutty kind of chewiness. So I just sprinkle some sunflower seeds into there. Looks like that. And then I like to just stir those in. I think, hopefully you can kind of see how big the bowl is and how big the serving size is. So yeah, I just like to stir my sunflower seeds into there and then where are we there we go we're back again <laughs> oh no my tripod's sinking there we go <laughs> so then I've got my yogurt that's really nice as I said, the sunflower seeds give it that kind of kind of nutty taste, which is really nice. So if I'm not having yogurt for breakfast, I also sometimes have cereal. I tend to have something like cornflakes. Oh, the light behind me is awful, isn't it? Can you see that? My cornflakes in my jar. Or I might have brown flakes um, and sometimes I like to actually crunch up some of the brown flakes and sprinkle them on top of the yogurt but I have also discovered how nice the sunflower seeds are in the yogurt so that is breakfast and I will see you later today so I'm now going to make my vitamin um, drink which is calcium and vitamin D it comes in a sachet like that and I've just taking this bottle of water out of the fridge and this is sort of lemon flavoured and I just pour it into the water there we go and then it dissolves really quickly just give it a little shake around like that I don't know how well can you see that it's sort of a white kind of colour. Oops. And I'm going to drink that up. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> so now I'm going to make mine and Teddy's lunch. I've already cut the bread. This is just a crusty little tiger loaf. Put some butter on the bread. And it's yummy. It is yummy, isn't it?
so we are buttered. And I'm going to put a little pepper for Teddy. And she's also going to have some cucumber. And some strawberries. Yeah, we'll get to the strawberries in a minute. The strawberries are my favourite part. This cucumber is so difficult to cut. I don't know, Mummy. I think it's got a bit frozen in the freezer. Freezer? Fridge. I mean the fridge. Right, so you've got some cucumber on the side of your plate. Okay, we're going to have some chicken as well. Let's give Teddy a slice of chicken on her plate. I'm going to have a slice of chicken on my bread and I'm also going to have a bit of cheese on mine as well Lunch looks yummy. Do you like the lunches that I make you, Teddy? Yes. Do you wish that you were at school having school dinners right now? Do you miss having your cooked school dinners at school? Today, yes, because it's fish and it chip It would day. have been fish and chip Friday, okay. wouldn't it, today? But, like, like when it's like, um, um, when they... No, no, no. I've You're not so keen on the Wednesday one, are you? Yeah, but I feel like I like it like any other day. Okay. I, I, and I especially love macaroni and cheese You do day. like macaroni and cheese day, don't you? Yeah. It's the best day of all. Oh, all of them. Awesome. Okay, here's your dinner. Yes, Teddy. It's not my dinner, it's my lunch. Okay, here's your lunch. There we are. Yum, yum. Okay, so this is what I'm having for lunch. I've got a little slice of crusty bread. It's got butter and chicken and cheese on it. And I've also got some strawberries. It's coffee time. Here's another cup of coffee. Okay, so it is half past five now and I've just phoned Debbie to find out what time she's going to be home from work and she's going to be leaving work in about the next ten minutes or so and then it'll take her about half an hour to get home. So we'll eat when she gets home um, and I'm starting to feel quite hungry now. So I'm actually going to have a glass of milk to tide me over until we have our dinner and for dinner we are going to be having um some duck pancakes so for dinner in my fridge now we're going to be having oops can you see we're going to be having this for dinner but we're not having that until she gets home so now i'm going to have some milk have my glass of milk so it's dinner time now and we are having duck pancakes so I'm gonna make one to show you mm. how I make it Teddy are you enjoying that mm. 
I like to put the duck in first. Then add some bits of cucumber. And there is my duck pancake. Decaf coffee. So I just wanted to mention that this What I Eat In A Day video was filmed during lockdown. So a lot of our kind of daily routine has gone out the window and we've kind of been doing everything later than we normally would so we've been getting up later having breakfast later lunch later dinner later so in this video you've seen me have three meals and then also a glass of milk as a snack mid-afternoon and that is because our day has basically been condensed into a shorter amount of hours because we've been getting up later so if we weren't in lockdown if we were actually doing more with our day going out to work etc then I'm sure that I would be eating more snacks and my meals would be a bit more spread out so just wanted to say that out of lockdown this wouldn't be a typical day but during lockdown it has meant that I've definitely not been eating the three snacks.